What's up, what's up, what's up, family? Slide back in the whip for another fishing tip. Today's topic, treat women like fish. When I was a boy, my grandfather, he was an excellent fisherman. He used to take me fishing every so often, pretty often in season. And I remember before we'd go fishing, he'd always say, go out there and dig up some bait. That meant go ahead and get the little shovel, go through the softest soil that I could find, find the most uh, animate worms and grubs, anything that was nice and big and juicy that I could go ahead and collect in a jar and bring it along with us to use as bait for fishing. And I remember there was a time when we went to get some uh, some more fishing line, get some new hooks. And then it was the first time I, I asked him, I said, hey, dad, why don't we uh, just buy this bait? Why don't we buy some bait? And he told me that bait is fake. He said, what do fish really eat? They eat little bugs, little grubs, you know, things that would be in the water. They don't eat whatever this synthetic shit is. He said, that shit is fake. It's to trick the fish. He said, any fish that's smart enough to grow and become big lived a while. Meaning, that fish wasn't tricked. That fish was smart enough to know real bait from fake bait. If you want the advantage as a fisherman, the bait you use to attract the biggest fish should always be authentic. And I think that holds true with women. There's a lot of dudes out here peacocking, faking the funk, acting like they got that paper, but they really a punk. So what I'm suggesting to you fellas is make sure that the bait on your hook is real and authentic really be a man of quality be a man of integrity a man that stands for something a man that knows what he is knows what he wants and knows what he's gonna be these type of characteristics is irresistible to the fish they can't help but bite on that hook and it's up to you the skilled fisherman to either keep that fish throw it back in the water. Peace.